in you. Our minds are wavering because the circumstance does not look like you are in it, but God, you are in the midst of it all, and we thank you for it. Every day, God, we rise and have breath. We draw breath from oxygen that we cannot see that you have provided for us, and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you. We say thank you, God, for the activity of our limbs, even though they might be limited and we can't move like we were 16. We thank you for the activity of our limbs, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bring our minds in and help us to focus. Help us to focus on your plan and your will, your direction, your way. God, give us integrity in the places where we lack discipline. In the name of Jesus, won't you bless us? Won't you come see about your children? Won't you visit us today, God? Won't you speak through us, God? In the name of Jesus, we're asking you, Lord. To have your way like only you can. We thank you, Lord God, for these words of the meditation of our hearts. Oh, God. That our thoughts and our minds be in concert with your will today. In the name of Jesus. Help us to concentrate on you. Take us into that place. In the spirit realm where we might understand your precepts, your mysteries, your law, and your will, and your way, God. In the name of Jesus. We are asking you today. To step in supernaturally. Mm. Yes. Supernaturally in court cases, God. Yes, Lord. Supernaturally in decisions, Lord, at mm, social services, social security. Yes, God, in Jesus' name. God, turn over diagnoses. Mm. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your hand of love and healing now, God, and visit that hospital room, God. I command blood diseases to be dissipated now. I command tumors to dry up now in Jesus' name. Lungs open up now in Jesus' name. Hearts, heartbeats begin to be regulated now in Jesus' name. Move that gas bubble out of that heart range right, right now, God. Yes, Lord, that prayer air of pocket that's irritating somebody right now, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, in Jesus' name that you will begin to touch, God. Touch with your healing, God. Touch with your movement, God. In the name of Jesus, we call the bodies of the saints into the regulation of the word of God. We command you to be healed and be whole. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, Lord. We bless you. We praise you. We love you. We thank you. But there is none like it unto you. And we do all these things expecting a great miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands in Jesus' name. Clap your hands in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands in Things the Lord wants to speak to us. We honor the Lord today for our apostle and his absence or his presence. Yes. We didn't know where he is, but we want to clap our hands and thank God because of whoever can be healed of whatever, of whatever is you, and whatever, and whoever is you, and that whatever is whatever you're dealing with. We thank God for our mothers who are in the absence. Please pray for Mother Oates today. She did tell us that she was not feeling well. We thank God. Our elders, thank the Lord yes. Jesus Christ, the Elder Taylor. Yes. God bless her in Jesus' name. She has a conference coming up, and we want to make sure that Bethesda, we support her in any way we can. It'll be in Fredericksburg, Virginia this month. The Reset Conference. How many of you know that sometimes it's good to be able to just hit the, yes. the reset button? You know, when you're working at the, uh, on the computer at work, yeah. Yeah. And, it <laughs> and it ain't working right, yes, you say, I, I know how to fix you, Del. You Blue screen of death. <laughs> just kidding. They have to reset. I got to do a hard reset. I'm not seeing. Tuluba Ambia. Tika Tanda de Rio. I'm shot time. Sometimes you have to have a soft reset. Sometimes uh -huh. you can just cut it off and cut it back on. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to start the computer all the way over, unplug that's it, right. and wait. That's right. Oh, that's the part we don't like. We don't like the withdrawing from our flesh. We don't like the withdrawing from the world. We don't like the withdrawing and the disconnection in order to reconnect to the power source because we have to sit and wait while we are withdrawn. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes we are disconnected and we have to sit and wait while we are withdrawn so that internally something clicks inside of us. We are reprogrammed and reset so that when we plug back into that source yeah. and the button is pushed on our lives for us to be productive, right. we come back into full productivity. Full productivity. Yeah. Sometimes when you have to do a reset, there are updates.
things that you didn't know about. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now that was free. I didn't pray. I didn't pray for that. But sometimes there are updates that happen during the reset. That's right. Yeah. Am, I on, am I on your road? Yeah. Tell you. oh am I on your road? Yeah. There are updates that happen because of and during the reset. Yes. Things that make it more efficient. Uh -huh. Things that make it move faster. Uh -huh. Things that make the process engineering status of your computer right. more effective. Yes. And you can do better work easier yeah. and quicker. Yeah. 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 That's the reset conference That's in June. What's the, what's the number? Three days. 23rd. The 23rd. Y'all can do the 25th. Do the 25th. Come on, clap your hands up and say Thank God for that. We also have thank God for Elder Battle, Prophet Battle. Come on, let your hands for Prophet Battle. He leads us in worship every Sunday. And he does not know if he takes us into a place that we need him to take us into. With or without music, we need That's to right. hear his voice yes. because he has the key. That's right. He does not know all the time that he has the key to the worship room that we That place and that access. And we want to make sure that we are grateful. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Today, and I'm not talking about we by myself, you know how people get crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he even speaking to us. I'm, I'm one person. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Ellie and my friend, mm -hmm. brother, we were driving today. But Elder Battle has Midnight. It's M, I know it's Eminem. Eminem, Midnight, Midnight Motivation. Midnight Motivation. Midnight Midweek Motivation. Yes. Midnight motivation. Yes. Midnight. You know, he's up late at night working, and the Lord speaks to him. And if you all are uh, up late, I know most yes. of y'all are because you're dragging in here. <laughs> up late at night, and you need a word. Won't you support him and see yeah, what the Lord is saying through one of our house prophets, one of our elders, yeah, yes. one of our ministers? Right. 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 The word of the Lord is blessed. Yes, it is. Doesn't always have to come from one or two people, but God is always speaking. Amen. We want to thank God for even my brother being here with us today, Chaplain yeah. Minister. Blessing. We thank God for each and every one of you here today. I want you yes, to yes, yes. draw your mind in for a moment. I said, you know, I don't, I don't like being up here long. It's hot. I want you to think about something. I want you to take a deep breath, to close your eyes, and I want you to remember. Mm -hmm. And tell you what to remember. But I want you to begin to remember. You can go back into your childhood and remember your favorite candy that you had. You can go back into your childhood and your teenage years and remember your best friend that you don't really talk too much anymore. So you can go back into your life and remember that time your mama got you for lying. <laughs> she got you good, didn't she? I want you to go back into your life and remember when you met that boy that got you in trouble. Mm -hmm. or that girl that got you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Go back into your life and begin to remember your life. Remember your happenings. Remember your developments. Remember the things that make you, you begin to remember. <laughs> begin to remember and begin to reflect on how the things that you're remembering have led you into the place that you are in now. And now I want you to begin to remember the word of the Lord to you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you remember the word of the Lord to you? That you're the head and not the tail? You're above and not beneath you, the lender and not the borrower. Not the word of the Lord that someone gave to you, that someone else said to you. But what did God say to you, God's self? Not when you were in church. Not when you were in or around Prophet Cotton. Not when you were around Elder Taylor. But what did God say to you? Remember that. Remember. Remember. Remember what God has done for you. Remember what God said God would do for you. Remember how God made a way. 
Remember how God paid that bill. Remember how God healed your body. Remember how God intervened on your job when someone lied. Remember how God kept you and protected you, protected you from the car accident. Remember the storms in your life. As we remember today, remember and we reflect. Turn with me in your Bibles to, we got a few scriptures, I feel like mother today. You know, I don't like a bunch of scriptures, but I feel like mother today. I'm going to read something for you. I'm going to read Deuteronomy chapter number 8. Deuteronomy 8, and I'm going to start at verse 11. And I'm going to read all the way to 18. Y'all can take that. Told you it won't be long. It's going to be longer than what I got to say. Deuteronomy 8, verse 11. When you have it, say, I am there. I am there. All right. If you don't have it, say, wait on me, will you? Wait on me, will you? Okay. You can wait. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. We still wait. I will bless you, O Lord. Deuteronomy 8 and 11. Beware that you do not forget the Lord, nor your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. Let when you have eaten and are full and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all you have is multiplied, underline multiplied. When your heart is lifted and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which were fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty land where there was what? No, no water. Who brought water for you out of the flinty rock? Who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know that which your fathers did not know that he might humble you and that he might make might test you to do good in the end. Then you say in your heart, my power and my might of, and the might of my hand, I have gained me this well. Verse number 18, I want you to remember. And you shall remember the Lord your God. For he, he is he who gives you power to get well. And that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. Mm -hmm. I want you to go over to Psalm number 68 verse 19. Psalm 68 and 19. You have it say, I am there. I am there. It's the Lord. Psalm 68 and 19. It says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, yes, yes, yes. the God of our salvation. Yes, Blessed be the Lord, who daily, daily. loads us with benefits, All right now. the God of our salvation. salvation. I want you to think on these yes. thoughts with me. The soul that remembers is refreshed. Y'all got that? The soul that remembers is refreshed. We are keeping in the theme of the war on poverty, Elder Taylor, that the apostle has been, God bless Pastor Scott for coming in today. Come on, clap your hands for Pastor Scott. We are keeping in the theme of the war on poverty, and we want you to be reminded that the soul that remembers is refreshed. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you mean by the soul that remembers is refreshed? Remember just a moment ago, if you do remember, the times that I just had you to think about the experiences that you've had in your life. Yes, sir. It could have been good, it could have been bad, it could have been exciting.
society could have been boring. But you had an opportunity to remember. You could have remembered when you didn't have the place to live that you're living in now. You can remember the time when you did not have the car that you are driving now. You can remember the time when you didn't fit the clothes that you're wearing now. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Lord. I put on some pants today and I said, oh, I got a victory. <laughs> Remembering causes you to reflect. Yes, Things evoke our memory. Yes. Things cause memory to pull us into a place yeah. uh -huh. of action, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of demonstration, mm -hmm. of behavior that sometimes <laughs> takes us out. Have you ever been in a store, Elder Taylor? Mm -hmm. Been in a store, you've been out somewhere, and somebody walks past you, mm -hmm. and you mind your business. You want to go eat your ramen noodles, your Pepsi, your chicken thighs, <laughs> some corn and stuff, I don't know. And someone walked past you, I'm sure, and you said, Look down. And you go around, you start looking crazy. You're, you're in the grocery store in a different aisle saying, um, 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 um I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude. Right. Um, what is that you got on? Right. And they say, oh, well, you know, this is Chanel number no. five or Escada. A few of do it was blue to Chanel. And they was, you know, back in the day, people used to wear your car and our money and stuff like that. Or cool water. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's what it did. Hey, I walked on your street, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Somebody wore that cool water, walked past you, and suddenly you were trans, trans, on, trans, trans, transported, transported you went on back. all the way back to a 1992, clearly it's 2016. Right. But immediately in that moment, your mind and your soul were transported to 1992. Uh -huh. You remember what you were wearing? What that person was wearing, what y'all were doing or weren't doing or were about to do. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. We're grown-ups today. Good. We got to y'all teenagers. You remember what you were aiming for. And that cool water scent brought something back to you. You remember it. You a little hot. You got a hoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, that's what that was? And you walk away. What's in your car? Put your neck caps you, say, you, say, mm -hmm. you put your head down because you say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. You, then you have to take yourself in the tongues because if you get down too far, yeah. that cheese eye, something hits you and starts to remind you and wants to draw you back to 1992. Well, right. You know, I wonder where. Right. That's right. That's right. I wonder where uh, so and so is. I wonder what they're doing today. I wonder how they are. I wonder, right I wonder they, uh, yeah. I if they're still in the same. And if you are bold enough That's and if right. it's strong enough on you, you'll get in your lovely car that God has blessed you with. Or some of us might get on the bus and see you do a drive by. Yeah. <laughs> see if they still at their mama house. Uh, uh, <laughs> I do remember you used to have a place over there. I, let me tell you all. 20 years ago. <laughs> Y'all can look cute, uh, but I will raise my own hand in this class and say, show have. Yes, right. Show have. And if, and if you're bold enough, you might ring the door. You might just <laughs> ring the door there. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> well, you still, you still live here. You know, I thought about you the other day. That's fine. And I was down in the grocery store. <laughs> in the grocery store. And I was just, you know, somebody walked past me and they wore that, you know, that scent that she used to wear. And it just brought me back in it. And I was reminded of da da da. And you begin to pursue the action of the memory. You begin to actively pursue the recapitulation, the reorganizing of what you felt in the moment that you remember. 
How many of us realize that that's the experience that God wants you to have when you are in God's presence? Yes, yes, God. Yes, sir. God wants to be able to walk past you, walk up on you, meet you in your bedroom, meet you in the grocery store, meet you at your job, meet you in the car, walk up on you, and you feel because God does have a sense and feel the presence of God, yes. smell God's yes. breath on you, and you yes. say. You took me back, God. You took me back to when I was saved. You took me back to when you healed my body. You took me back to when you delivered me. You took me back to when you took me out of that abusive relationship. You took my mind back to when I was a fool. A fool, sir. You reminded me. The Deuteronomy text is telling us to remember. Remember. That it was God who made a covenant with somebody that was not you. Right. Because see, you're the benefit of a covenant keeper that you did not make. Right. Benefit of it. You are the benefit. Listen, I've been watching Roots. You are the benefit, beneficiary of a covenant that God made with somebody that ain't you. Yes. That ain't you. The Lord made a covenant with a grandmother. The Lord made a covenant with your ancestors. We are the fruit. That's right. Of the prayers of that's the slaves. Right. Yes. Listen, just like the Israelite children, the Jews today are the fruit of the prayers of the children of captivity in Egypt. We are the sons and daughters of the fruit of them that had to be processed. And don't let everybody tell you the lie that everybody in Africa didn't serve God. Right, right. They might not have had the words, the articulation that we have today, but it is a lie from hell that we came over on a boat and did not have God. Right, right, right. When you are allowed someone to tell, allowing someone to tell you that you serve a white man's God, you need to say he's a white man's God, he's a black man's God, a blue person's God, an Indian, whatever color you walk up on, God can be that color. Because when we start categorizing what God can and cannot do, what God will and will not do, where God is and is not from, then we take our anthropomorphic that's perspectives right, right. and then, slap them on something that is not anthropomorphic. It is infinite. What do I mean by anthropomorphic? I'm so glad y'all came to class today. I mean, we take on our human characteristics. Right. What makes William, William, and say that's how God is. I don't want God to act like William because if God acted like William, some of y'all would be slapped in your face. If God acted like William, I mean, I don't know, whole states might be taken out. <laughs> I'm whole telling states. you. Oh, yes. If God acted like my anthropomorphic manifestation of God's self, oh, this is why we had the cross. Oh, I'm looking at this. I was not prepared. I gotta teach y'all this. This is why we have the cross. Because if God has everything, and everything in the whole still of God, and in Him we move, live, and have our being, and in Him is everything, then God gave us the example of Himself, taking Himself out of divinity, out of the throne room of heaven, coming down and giving Himself an expression in flesh that looks just like what He created. And said, Let me show them how to live. You have to crucify your flesh. You crucify your flesh to live again. You have to have discipline and die to the system that was created to keep you in bondage so that when you are resurrected with power, you are in control. Listen, don't you know when you walk in some place and you walk in authority, you are the ruling spirit. You are the reflection of Jesus Christ. You are the light of the world. Oh, God. Come on, listen, listen, listen. If we are joint heirs with Christ, this means that Jesus Christ is my brother. That's my brother's right. name is Matthew. That's right. And whatever my mother and father leave us, they leave us a house, Matthew gets a part of it. Yeah. Whatever my mother and father leave us, Matthew. Now, I'm the oldest. And so the example comes from them beating me into subjection. Uh-huh. From them saying, don't do this. From them testing out parental therapy. Mm. That's right. From them testing parental therapies. I think I just walked myself up on something. Mm-hmm. Testing parental therapies. Mm-hmm. 
and remedies on the first child. That's right. So that by the time we get to the second and the third That's child, it. I done mastered it. That's yeah. right. So he sent Jesus Christ to get one thing done. Mm -hmm. To say, let me try this out. Y'all don't like it if God is trying stuff out, but God tries things mm -hmm. out. Yeah, he, he, tries tries out. He, tries he tries out. He tries you. Yes, he does. Don't think he doesn't. God tries you. God tries stuff out and says, oh, I got, I, this, this is going to work. Right. This is going to work. This is how this works. And after he tried his own son, after he tried himself, mm -hmm. after God tried himself, he remembered his divinity and ascended back into heaven and said, oh, wait a minute. I got to send them something to keep them. That's right. I, gotta, I, gotta, I still have to send a portion of myself back into That's the right. earth realm so that you can do what I did. Right. So that you can rage against the system that was designed to keep you in bondage. What kind of bondage? Not just the bondage of finance, not just the bondage of the transatlantic slave union, but the bondage of religion, yeah. the bondage of depression, the bondage of a psychology that says you are not royalty, that you are not glorious, that you have nothing good in you, the bondage of self-deprivation. Right, right, that's right. Where I give everything to everybody else and create false humility because I just want you to feel good about right. you. But on the inside, I, I'm, I'm empty, I'm empty, and I keep giving pieces of myself away. I keep giving pieces of myself away so when the time comes for me to be revived and refreshed, I don't have any pieces of myself because I've given myself away to everybody else who is not restoring me. The soul that remembers is refreshed. Yes, sir. The soul that remembers is refreshed. The soul that remembers is refreshed. The soul that remembers is refreshed. Well, what is refreshed? Refreshed is different from being revived. Mm -hmm. Revived means you were dead. Right. Right. Revived means there wasn't no hope, there wasn't no life, there wasn't no nothing, there wasn't no pulse. Yeah. Something had to come in, boom. That's right. But refreshing is much easier yeah. than revivement, than being revived. See, the problem with modern Christians, the problem with modern people in general, wow. is we like to go to our battery is on um, negative, negative twelve. Yeah. We like we love to run it down to the to the red. That's right. That's right. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I'll wear it off. I'll talk to Chris till I'm on fire. The phone's gonna cut off with him. It's beeping and it's flashing. I'm in the middle of a good since it's click. But if I had plugged in Come on, and refresh, yeah. which is easier than having to wait. Then draining myself all the way down. I can keep going. I can do it. I can make it. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm, I, got, I, got, I got a little bit left. And then you flat out on the floor. And then you have to wait. It takes longer. You broke up now. Because you needed a revival. And we asking God for revival, and God is saying, "I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to refresh you." Come on, yeah, right, right, right. Come on. I, I know that I just destroyed a bunch of our theology. Come on, you did. What you got me for? You did. We want revival because we want to be dead. Wow. We want we like being drained. We like being drained because it makes me feel important. Come on, Train me and use me up because I have a God complex. I have a Messiah's complex. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm Jesus Christ's expression in the earth. But I have limitations because I don't have discipline. Wow. The reason why Jesus Christ could go to the cross is because Jesus Christ had the discipline. He was obedient unto death. We're not obedient unto not eating fried chicken. Right. God. Oh my God. Come on, sir. Ain't that it? We're not obedient unto death. No, 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 no. He was obedient unto death to say, this is a cause that I'm willing to sacrifice myself. And I'm so knowledgeable of who I am. No man takes my life lest I lay it down. And I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to hit this reset button. But when I get up, I'm going to take the keys of death and hell and I'm going to have all power in my hand. You can't give you all power. 
when you still using all flour, oh, all God. purpose flour. Oh, oh wow. Listen, 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 oh, beloved. God. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, the soul that remembers is refreshed. Mm -hmm. The soul that remembers is refreshed. If you could go in your mind and think about those words that God gave you, the ones that he reminded you about going to school that I didn't remember, the, the words about your books, Elder Taylor, mm -hmm. the words about your children, the words about your spiritual sons and daughters, <laughs> if you can be reminded yeah, yeah. of those things, you'll be refreshed. That's right. That's right. You'll be refreshed. You'll be refreshed. You'll be refreshed. The word of God is like water. We're full of electrolytes. Right. But see, when you put the word of God with the spirit of God, it's like Gatorade. That's right. It's like powering. That's and you right. drink the word and you let the spirit overtake you. That's you have power to endure. That's, right. that's, that's why these things that people used to work out in that right on the belt are called endurance enhancers. Yes, 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 yes. We don't have endurance. We don't have endurance because we are dry, because we forget, we do not remember. We don't remember what God did. Thank you, Lord. We remember stupid stuff. Right. Stupid stuff. Yeah. I remember you told you said so and so to me, and I should have punched you in your face. I remember she did this to me. I remember she did that to me. Yes, Lord. I remember he said this. Yes. I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. I'll get you one day. I remember this. I, we remember stupid yes. stuff. Yes. And the stupid stuff continues to eat away at us. And eats away at the remembrance of the word of God in us. The stupid stuff is like a canker worm in your spirit and in your mind. And it eats away the knowledge and the information that God has downloaded into you. And that's what happens. When you remember the wrong thing. When you remember the wrong thing, you build on hurt. Listen, yeah, somebody yeah, did something yeah, to me yeah, nasty yeah, this yeah. week, y'all. I'm trying to get free from it. I had nightmares. I wanted to punch somebody in the face. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm asking God to deliver me to the video. I'm asking Him to deliver me. Come on, deliver us. So I see them on Tuesday. Yes, and she says something to me. I don't want to go to jail. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to go to jail. I like eating. I like having a car and a place to live. But you know, sometimes somebody pushes you to that. To that place. Yes, and yes. you forget who you are. Yes. You, know, you forget you the ruling spirit. Yes. The reason why the building is standing is because I put my foot there. Yes. The reason why y'all all have jobs is because I'm here. Yes. And what happens is when you remember and reflect on the stupid stuff that people do. Yeah. Everything starts crumbling yeah. around you. Yeah. You, know yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. you reflect on your hurt and your pain and your issues. Yeah. And you don't get past them. Yeah. You don't forgive. You don't build yourself up. Yeah. You don't encourage yourself. Yeah. You don't move past ignorant people because they're going to be ignorant with or without you. Yeah. You don't move past. You don't build on those people. You don't use the ignorance of folks to make yourself a building.